Welcome to Xamarin University. My name is Rob Gibbons, and in this lightning lecture, I have the pleasure of introducing you to the new Xamarin Mac agent. Ever since Xamarin iOS for Visual Studio shipped with Xamarin 2.0, developers have been able to use Visual Studio to create iOS applications. This has enabled us to use the most popular, most productive, most powerful c -sharp IDE in the world to target the most popular mobile devices. From the beginning, this ability was provided by the Xamarin iOS build host. When compiling iOS applications, we still need to use Apple's development toolchain, all of which runs on a Mac. The build host was a separate application that was required to run on the Mac every time we opened an iOS project in Visual Studio. The build host has opened a whole new world of opportunities for C-sharp developers in the last three years. But we here at Xamarin are committed to constantly improving the tools that Xamarin developers use and we are tremendously excited to release the new Xamarin Mac Agent as part of Xamarin 4. The Xamarin Mac Agent has been, been rewritten from the ground up to provide all developers a much better development experience. The Xamarin Mac Agent is faster, easier to set up, easier to use, and much more reliable with more features. We think you're really going to love it. In this lightning lecture, I'll walk you through connecting Visual Studio to the Mac Agent. I'm going to assume that you have the latest stable version of the Xamarin components installed, both on your Mac and Windows machines. If you don't yet have Xamarin installed, be sure to check out our documentation and videos on setting up a new Xamarin installation. In order for Visual Studio to communicate over the network to the Mac agent, we first need to enable remote login on the Mac. One of the great new features of the new Mac agent is that there's no longer any application that you have to start and stop on the Mac when you want to use it. The Visual Studio client will connect to the Mac agent over a secure channel via SSH in order to automatically start and stop the build as needed. To turn remote login on, we need to open the system preferences on the Mac and then open sharing. Once we authenticate, we can turn the remote login feature on. You'll want to either allow all users here, or make sure that your Mac login is part of the appropriate group. Let's turn our attention to Visual Studio now. We need to tell Visual Studio which Mac agent we want to connect to. There are two ways to do this. First, we can use the iOS toolbar. We can add the toolbar to Visual Studio and there we have a Xamarin Mac agent icon. Clicking that will start the connection wizard. Alternatively, we can get to the same wizard by going through Visual Studio's options menu. Scroll all the way down to the bottom to find the Xamarin section, then click the iOS settings, and then click find Xamarin Mac agent. This will start the connection wizard process. Visual Studio will discover the available Mac agents on your network Simply choose the one that you want to work with and then click the connect button. You may be prompted to allow incoming connections to the Mac agent. If you are, then click allow. You should now see the connection icon next to your selected agent. That's all there is to it. You can now close out of the wizard and you're ready to start coding. The Xamarin Mac agent brings with it some features that we didn't have with the older build host application. We can now launch multiple instances of Visual Studio on our machine and connect them to the Mac agent at the same time, allowing us to work on multiple projects at once. The Mac agent will also automatically notify Visual Studio of changes, such as plugging in an iOS device to the Mac. And lastly, the Mac agent will only be required when you're doing something in Visual Studio that requires the Mac, such as debugging or using the iOS designer. We think that the new Xamarin Mac agent is a huge leap forward in empowering c -sharp developers to use the IDEs and operating systems of their choice to create world-class mobile apps for every platform. We hope you love it as much as we do. Thank you, and happy coding.